Most web browsers should be fine to download GIMP, but for this one I'm going to use Google Chrome. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up into the address bar and go to GIMP.org. This will take you to the GIMP homepage. Once you're here on the GIMP homepage, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a download area and two sections over here. But also, there's a bunch of information on the main page. None of this really concerns us that much, but if you want, scroll down and take a look at some of it. The things you want to worry about are download here and the download section there. Click on either one. This will take you to the downloads page. Now to download for Windows, you're going to want to download this first one right here that has the installer already in it. Once you do that, it will take you to the SourceForge page. You're going to click Save. And you're going to wait. Through the magic of video, we are going to speed up this process. After it's downloaded, you're going to click here to open it. You're going to get a pop-up and you're going to click on run. You'll end up at the GIMP startup wizard. Click next. This is all the legal stuff, what you can use it for, what you can't use it for, things you should do, things you shouldn't. Hit next and hit install now. Now this green bar is going to fill up all the way, but again, through the magic of video, we're going to speed this process up. And at the end, you're going to hit Launch GIMP and click Finish. After you've done so, GIMP should open up, but first it's going to go through, it's going to parse some scripts. It's going to load some different data, some brushes. And congratulations, you have loaded GIMP. You can see you've got your three main windows here. You've got your tools. You've got your uh, main windows with your menus. And you've also got your layers, channels, and paths window. So congratulations. Please let me know if you have any questions.